for HeraldStandard.com. I'm Mike Shiroki, and today I'm here up in uh, beautiful Hiller uh, with Vaughn Braddock, the head football coach at Brownsville Area High School. Uh, Vaughn, how are things shaping up this year for you? Uh, things are good. Numbers are up. Uh, we're from 25 kids up to 40 uh, from last year, and the attitude of the kids have changed a lot. Yeah, uh, tell me a little more about that. We had a, an interesting story in uh, uh, HeraldStandard.com about the first day of practice. On Monday morning we get here, uh, we tell the kids to be here between 7 and 7.15. The kids come in, we pass out some equipment to kids that didn't have it. Once they got here, we told them to be on the field at 8.15 for an 8.30 start. Our kids come out, uh, we don't hear any noise in the gym, we're like, what's going on? Go outside, look around, all our kids, All there were 36 at that point. And they were all on a field dressed, ready to go at 8 o'clock. Has to be, that's a good sign. I think the attitude's changing down here. That's a real good sign for us. Uh, actually, we started camp with 36, and we, we picked up four kids throughout the week, so which was a good, it was a plus for us. Mm-hmm. A couple of wins last year. Uh, you guys were kind of on the outside of the playoffs still, but but getting a little bit closer. Uh, how's it looking this year in the, in the uh, interstate conference? We hope to compete. Mm-hmm. If we could, if we can get into the playoffs in the, in the third or fourth place, that would be terrific for this program. We just right now want to compete and do well against the Greensburgs and and the Jeanette. And we were talking a little bit before we started filming. Uh, the interstate is not the easiest conference uh, in Double A. Probably one of the tougher conferences in all of WPIL football. Uh, you play conference games every week, uh, and you got I think uh, a lot of. Uh, WPIL champions come out of that conference. Talk a little bit about how tough it is, how competitive it is. The Interstate Conference is probably the toughest double-A conference in the WPIL. Uh, we talked a little bit. I think the last three out of three out of the last five years have been the WPIL winner that's come out of the Interstate Conference. Uh, Mount Pleasant, Jeanette, Greensburg, those, those guys do a great job every year. Greensburg Central, Muzzy does a great job down there with those kids. Uh, Jeanette, his, his kids are all skilled, good skilled kids, and he does a great job with them. Mount Pleasant, I don't know where he gets them from, but he finds a way to get them every year out. It's tough for us when we didn't have numbers, but now our numbers are coming back, so hopefully we can just compete. And, and you know, I'm not going to say that, hey, we're going to win five or seven football games. I'd never do that. But I, we're going to try to compete and, and do the best we can. Our kids will be in position to make plays every week. They just have to make them. Now we have enough kids this year to do that. Uh, hopefully we can we can keep them around. Like I said, with 40, we should be fine. That's a whole lot better than 19. Yeah. So. Okay, and uh, we want to thank you for uh, for your time uh, joining us today on HeraldStandard.com, Vaughn, and uh, wish you and the Falcons good luck this season. Thank you.